What's poppin' Calisthenics fam? So yes, I am here with a random whiteboard and brick background, but for good reason. I want you to be able to understand and visually take what I tell you and put it into play immediately. Maybe I speak too fast or maybe you're from a different country and don't understand what I'm saying and you really can learn from what I write. Well, now I have two different ways for you to learn. So today I wanted to tackle lengthening your biceps and by the end of this video, you should be able to understand every part of it and if it actually can even happen. Now, this is how I do all of my free courses. You can go ahead and check out my V-Cut course down below in the description. I'm also going to be giving away a completely free bodyweight training course called Bodyweight 101 uh, next week or the week after. I'm working on that specifically. So uh, today, lengthen your biceps. Can you lengthen your biceps? Well, let's get to that in just a second. First of all, you need to understand there are two heads. There's a reason why it's called bi, okay? Because there are two heads. And your two heads are specifically going to be your short head and your long head, okay? Your short is going to be more medial inside. Let's just say inside so you understand. I don't need to be using all these big terms. And then outside will be your long head. Now, if you look at your own biceps right now, I want you to do that. Look at your bicep. If you see the inside part of your bicep, doesn't that look a little bit longer, right? Well, there's a point to that in just a second, and that all has to do with where it inserts, okay? So you have two, uh, you have a tendon that attaches these, right? You have your proximal and you have your distal. So your proximal is up here, your distal is going to be down here. I'm not gonna go too much into the proximal tendon, tendon or where it uh, originates because you don't really need to learn too much about that because all we're trying to find out is to lengthen them from this point right here, right? But if you look at my biceps and you see that one is a lot, there's a way bigger gap at the bottom of that. I'll get to that in just a second. But you have to understand that where it is inserting, where your bicep is inserting, is considered the radial tuberosity. Okay, so we're gonna write this down. This is just going to be a lot of information for you. Tuberosity, just so you can be like, hey, my friends, I know where my biceps insert. And then you have your bicipital aponeurosis, okay? So your bicipital apo. Uh, I can't spell, I can't spell, do not take this, apo, apo, aponeurosis. Okay, and this, no matter what, it doesn't matter if you train a million times a year, it doesn't matter what you're eating, what, that is going to be your insertion no matter what, which means it is fixed, which means however your biceps are, wherever they're inserting, it's going to be there forever. That's just how it works. Now, if you tear something, yes, sometimes your bicep will get even shorter. I did not tear something in my biceps. A lot of people ask me that question all the time. Um, but the fact of the matter is, can you legitimately lengthen your biceps? No, you cannot increase the length of where it inserts. And that's the thing that people get a lot uh, wrong all the time. Now, there are different things that you could be doing, and I'll get into that in just one second. But first thing I want you to understand is the actions of the specific biceps because you know if you don't know how to work them correctly, then you won't even be able to build size. You won't even be able to make them appear like they are lengthened, right? So your actions of the biceps are going to be, one second, are going to be flexion, and supination, okay? And so you understand what flexion and supination are. You guys already know what flexion is, right? So if you take a bicep curl or whatever and you're doing flexion, this is going to be flexion here. And if you're doing supination, you're in a pronated position, it's here, right? So anytime you go like this, you're gonna be working your bicep, working your bicep. So that is extremely important to learn about when you're trying to lengthen them. Now, obviously, I just said that you cannot lengthen your biceps legitimately by taking the insertion point and trying to bring it down further. It's just how specifically you were genetically made up, all right? So what are we gonna be doing? Well, we need to be looking at different types of stretches, okay? First type of stretch that I really like to look at is twisting of the arm. Now, you can go against the wall, and I'm gonna actually push this away right now. You can go against the wall, okay? And you're, you're in this position here. Oh my gosh, she's about to run into a car. <laughs> my wife was about to run into a car. So you go against the wall right here. Keep that chin tucked here. Your butt on the back as well. And all you're gonna be doing is from this pronated position, you're going to supinate as much as possible. 
and really feel that stretch. So when you supinate, you can even bring your arm down a little bit and this will help the stretch or even higher. The higher you go, you will feel a nice stretch. So stretching will actually help lengthen the bicep specifically because remember, it can be extremely tight and that's why it's not looking as, as lengthy as it can. Now there's another one that you could be doing. Um, you can go on the wall and put your hand here right behind you posteriorly and you can just bend down and lean forward um, or you can find a table and do the same stretch but there's many different exercises that you could be doing to really try and uh, lengthen i like to, i'm going to keep on saying quote unquote lengthen because that's what you're really trying to figure out right but we all know that it's already fixed you can't really lengthen the actual insertion of that so um, different stretches will definitely help that tension in that area and really f stretch it out which will help look or appear lengthened um, and then also foam rolling you can do a lot of foam rolling this is myofascial release and uh, this will help uh, take adhesions out of there knots and it just will overall make your, your muscle a lot lengthier so it can contract a lot more effectively. And that's the final thing that I actually wanna talk about. So when you're talking about contractions and you're talking about building the peak of your bicep, what will make your bicep appear like it's longer or bigger or anything like that? Well, first of all, you have to be focusing on the force and that you're providing through the whole movement. So what specific exercises are you doing and how is that force being applied? Now, when you talk about force, you want the force to be applied throughout the whole movement. You don't want just half of a movement because then you're only working at that specific angle. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you talk about isometric contractions, isometric means it's like a fixed position, okay? You have concentric, which are moving to shorten the muscle. You have eccentric that is lengthening the muscle. Now, if you're isometric contracting at this fix, fixed position you will only get stronger at this position you will only be able to build the muscle at this position now in order to make sure you're exerting maximal force throughout the whole movement you have to do specific exercises that will lengthen the movement and go through the entire one now if you're cheating and let's just say you're doing bicep curls and you're only going to here you're only working this part of the bicep now if you're in full complete flexion of that elbow joint and then full extension, now you're getting that full amount of force that is required to, for it to be effective and efficient for your results. So when we talk about lengthening the biceps, I want to give you one exercise that will specifically help you body weight training only because like I said, resistance is resistance. Doesn't matter if you're using weights, doesn't matter if you're using your own body weight. Increasing variation will help you build the muscles that you want and of course the diet and the nutrition that you're putting into play, okay? So when we talk about bicep headbangers, and the reason why I'm writing this right now is so that you can write it down for yourself and go to the park and do it. So you remember, bicep headbanger, not on a pull-up bar, but on dip bars. This is one of the movements that I do in all of my programs. Um, bicep head bangers on the dip bars. Now, how, how do you specifically do this? Well, all I want you to do is go to some type of dip bar, okay? And all you're going to do is bend your knees, come under the movement, and what you're, and you're just gonna grab supinated, because remember, if you're in a supinated position, a lot more bicep will be worked, okay? And all you're gonna do is come to your fore, forearm, or sorry, your forehead right here, and come all the way back full extension of that elbow joint. You're gonna come in again, flex, tighten up as much as possible, and then all the way out, okay? Now what this is going to do is again, it will work your muscle from that all the way extended position of that elbow joint to the full flexion of the elbow joint, working your bicep in full, which will help the peak what it looks like and the peak everybody talks about peak it'll build the muscle lean muscle and increase size hypertrophy now what type of repetition should you be doing i'm generally going to be saying anywhere from 8 to 12 reps with about a 45 second rest period okay so 8 to 12 repetitions 45 second rep rest period and with this and doing about four sets we want to have higher volume remember body weight training we need higher volume in order to see the effectiveness being done right here will be your first step to lengthening your biceps so with all this information that i gave you the understanding where your biceps are uh, origin is and insertion is you have everything you need to know from exercise uh, the reps the sets and everything else that i specifically talked about 
Two, lengthen your biceps and get the results that you want in that specific area. Now remember to be eating correctly. Do not play around with your diet. It will show in the results on your body. If you're not seeing a lot of incredible results, it's most likely diet related or you're not progressing correctly. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed like the spot that I'm in right now. So weird, but next time maybe we'll go into Hollywood or maybe we'll go onto the Venice boardwalk and have other people coming right on the board with us. But again, hopefully you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Come back for more. We're gonna be doing this way more often. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>